I'm Lisa. I am one of the co-founders of Namiku, and this is our maker story. One of our images is not showing up there. Um, who am I? Who am I talking to today? Are you guys all makers? Are you are you makers? Okay, word. Okay, great, sweet. For a second there, I thought like everyone was from GE and like really big corporate people, but it's good to know who I'm speaking to. How cute are we, boy, girl, boy, girl? <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. Um, I. <laughs> I'm not very polished. I am a professional maker. This is not going to be like a sexy TED talk where I have a big lesson for you guys. It's just what I know. I started this company with my husband when I was 22, and now I'm 25. This is what we do. We put your food inside, well, actually, you put your food inside of a bag, and then it goes into a precise water oven, which is what we create for you with our little thing. You clip it onto any pot that you already own, and it circulates your water and heats it to a precise temperature. And it looks like this. I'm going to Vanna White it a little bit. And it didn't always look like that. It, when we first started, um, it was, when we first started, it was just a PID machine. We have an aquarium bubbler over there, some duct tape, and a chopstick, a heater. <laughs> <laughs> There's our little temperature gauge over there. And, uh, you know, we, we were watching, we were just doing the most banal things. We were just watching TV. And I was watching Top Chef, and I saw, oh my God, look at that sous vide machine, right? It is, it is beautiful. It's making the food so perfect. And when you watch, like, the judges eat that food, it's like pure, like, orgasm, like, cr tears out of their eyes. You're like, I want that for myself. And then I went online to check the price, and it's $800. I'm like, well, I'm a student. I really can't afford that. And my husband, then boyfriend at the time, we had been dating for a week. He's a plasma physicist. He really wanted to impress me. So we could make it ourselves. I was like, holy crap, are you, are you serious? Um, OK. Well, so he's like, well, what's in it? Let's think about it. It controls the temperature. right? It reads what the temperature is, and then there's a heater. Then there's a brain that switches it on and off. I'm like, okay, sure, let's, let's do it. And lo and behold, $90 later, there we go. We thought, you know, it was the greatest thing that we had ever, ever experienced. We put an egg inside. It was probably like, we could hear, after we built this, we could hear the garbage trucks coming in. It was 4 in the morning. We had started like at 6 p.m. And uh, being in New York City, we could run down to our bodega and get an egg. We set it to 64 degrees Celsius, and at that temperature, the middle of the egg actually coagulates and cooks before the whites. So it's an inside-out cooked egg. We're like, oh my god, this it blows our minds, and it's delicious. We have to tell everybody. We put it on a blog. Uh, nobody read our blog. <laughs> I was like, come on, guys, we're changing the culinary world. And then what happened is we went to Maker Faire, New York Maker Faire. And I was like, OK, we've got to make a big splash. We've got to do something crazy. We've got to show them, we've got to show people eggs for the first time inside out. So we cooked like 200 eggs, lugging this huge cooler to Maker Faire. Uh, people were actually scared. Um, a couple of kids were like, my mom tells me not to eat food like this. Like, okay, okay, but you know, we got a story on NPR and then things started picking up. This was the egg that we made. Um, we took the yolk out and we deep fried it with some breadcrumbs. Yum yum. <laughs> Cholesterol bomb. Um, and then afterwards, you know, uh, people started asking us about how to make things. Uh, how, do, how do we make that? We're like, you can go on our blog. They're like, yeah, but that's really complicated. So then we made a kit right there. It's the ember kit. And with that, actually, we looked for, uh, with that, um, a lot of people bought it, like probably around the ballpark of 200. But we actually wanted everybody to have it. And not everybody is a maker. So that led us to Hackcelerator. We went to China for 111 days for an accelerator program. Um, and we, how I knew about it was from actually Mitch Altman. I was sitting in a cafe with my husband, and he was sitting there too. And he was being interviewed by Make Magazine about being a maker. And I was like, what the hell is a maker? Like, is it, I mean, do people do this for a living? How do you do this for a living? Please help me. So I mean, we had no money. We had just gone out of college. Uh, I was out of college. Abe was just out of his PhD program. So then we found an accelerator program that would pay you 15K 
to go to China for 111 days. And so then when we were there, we visited factories, we um, got burnt out, we went to Thailand on vacation and met our co-founder. And then we put it on Kickstarter and we became the number one most funded Kickstarter in the food category ever. We raised almost 600K, thank you. We raised almost 600K in 30 days, and we are very late in delivering, which is what I'm, I'm very sorry for, but we've been very open in our process, and nobody hates us, you know? <laughs> and this is what we've been doing for the past year. Uh, this is my co-founder, Bam. He's a Thai national, and me and my husband. This is us uh, going around the airports, and then Here's some pre-production units, and the pre-production unit I showed you. We have a CM in China. And then uh, here's a test Namiku making some delicious, perfectly cooked steaks. You can see the steak from corner to corner. It's perfectly medium rare. It is really delicious. Thank you.